work. Uh, it is definitely tough to steer, so uh, yeah. My pecs are a little sore. something that just shook violently inside here so let's just uh i think it's wheel hop though it could have been but i mean let me just uh let me run it up and down the road make sure everything's okay <laughs> All right, so I think we've got a lot to figure out with the with the suspension still. So I mean, can't wait to get the guys from JSM back here. They will help us figure this out. But I just shocked it and just had some pretty nasty wheel hop. But um, hey, we're learning on this thing every day. We're knocking out problems left and right. So let's see if we can really do some good donuts here. I think you have a problem. Uh, that's a small problem. Uh, water relief valve. Yeah, what happened there? Guys, welcome back to the Faster Problems YouTube channel. And George, it is a freaking beautiful, wonderful day. Perfect. It is a fantastic weather. We got blue skies. We've got an 800 horsepower S10 that we're about to go take for a ride. And we're going to rip this thing. And man, I, uh, I'm i really, really stoked to take old George into the ride. This is his baby. Well, squirrel's baby. And uh, it look at what it came into. I mean, like... Did Squirrel ever imagine that this would happen? I can't speak for Squirrel, but well, you, you know not. I'm pretty good. I know I'm pretty good. You have a spitting resemblance to that gentleman. That's what they say. Well, hey man, this thing is a absolute ripper. We've been doing a little bit of testing here and there, and uh, this is really going to be our first test drive at this power level. Now, before we we had some lean outs and all sorts of other things, but dude. Let me have a moment to give a huge shout out to our sponsors that have made this happen. Like, dude, that Mishimoto cores that we've got there, when we were doing dyno pulls on this thing, guys, we did not see one, one, a single degree Fahrenheit gain during a dyno pull at nine and a half pounds of boost. Now, I know when they turn this thing up to maybe say 20 or something and run some extended duration runs on it, yeah, it's gonna go up, but I mean, it is extremely, extremely efficient but guys we're gonna be able to tune this thing with hp tuners we still have so many things under our hat that we want to try and do we have a c7 cluster that we want to be able to get wired up and our friend max is going to help us get that he's a can wizard if you guys check back a video that we had done with my old c6 z06 and he has a sequential gearbox in it you got to check out the little interview that i had with him he is a monster with the can stuff so the stuff that we're going to be able to do with this thing is we haven't even scratched the surface yet dude Motion Raceworks has helped us out so much with this. We just saw those guys this over the weekend, man, and I was like, dude, they're so stoked about what we're doing, and dude, we're so, so glad that they've been able to give us the help that what we need. And Turbo Smart. Yeah, ICT Billet with those valve covers and just a number of other things that they had to offer, man, was so, so, so clutch. But dude, Georgie, I also gotta say, that's a mighty fine sweater that you got there. Yeah, little, I got little this hoodie. at the uh, Best of Problems merch store. Yeah. .com. Guys, check that out in the link in the description. We are so grateful for your support, and we would not be able to do all of this craziness without the support of you guys. So, George, we got these we got these ugly wheels on here right now. We're doing maybe do some sliding or something like that, but we'll try and maybe get a little bit of a burnout going on there. Still got some braking stuff to figure out. So, guys, look at this. We have not really got our brakes totally worn in. They're not even wearing yet on the pads. Same thing on the front there. So our, it's our, looking better than it was though. It is. So guys, right as we're about to check tire pressures and go for a drive, got a little something missing right there. That is not happy. We've got to fix that before we go. That's definitely gonna be a little sketchy at speed. Yeah, just a bit. George, you know what they say about desperate times? <laughs> yeah. All right, so guys, I don't think that we have all of those at the moment. So we're gonna borrow one from the other side. We'll pull that guy off on that side so that we have four and four. But three, 
you know, I, I don't know. Three is just a little bit too much. That's uh, enough company. No, no, no. Laz, what's next to break? What's next to break? What do you think is next to break? More studs. Dude, that was a pretty bona fide pit stop right there, man. Let's make this happen. All right, George, honest question. Do you always feel like we're always a day late and a dollar short? Oh, yeah. Is it just me? No, no, it, we definitely are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this thing is like a whole different animal than, than Uncle Sam. I mean, rather than the power being like absolutely like a ton of bricks, <laughs> it, it comes in like, it comes in kind of like a... Uh, a rubber band and it's pretty it's pretty wild you can show me better than you can tell me <laughs> <laughs> through those turbos man that thing is really saving them. i think eventually we might have a bird or a sparrow or something go through there but possibly a large dragonfly you know <laughs> maybe High maybe speed. a pelican we got our new custom catch can on there yes all right so that is a temporary one while we wait for our motion raceworks one we definitely think that, that is going to be the way to go however dude we were out like messing around just a tiny little bit here and that thing completely filled up. So this is our solution, guys. If you're ever doing anything with a catch can, make sure that it has to go up so that you have to beat gravity. Try and keep that oil in the crankcase. Problem with what we had before, it was downward facing and all of our PCV vapors were going through that, pushing out probably a quart of oil. What a big mess. All over the place, no bueno. All right, so that's set. We got our turbo covers on there. Dude, let's go Let's go rip this thing, man. Real rip, full rip, 100% rip right now? We're gonna have to like... We're gonna wake up the neighbors? Uh, yeah. Let's yeah, let's do it. I think my door was broke, but I fixed it. Okay. All I did was slam it. <laughs> Highly technical process. All right.
still going. Hey, so let that be a lesson to you. Maybe you need five, five lugs. <laughs> five studs. Dang, that was crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 look at that skid mark. We lost our wheel for like a hundred yeah. foot. Dude, <laughs> look at how far that is, man. We we skid for a while. Uh, it's usually a bad thing when your tire's going faster than you are. Mm. Can't say it's ever happened before, but it just happened. Hey, I man. You drove the wheels off of it. <laughs> 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 Woo! Dang, look at that pizza cutter. That's a ZL1 rotor that has now been reduced to, well, hey, it's still good. It's still good. Hey, honestly, you know what's really awesome? The fact that the rotor is so big, it really probably kept a lot of stuff from getting grinded down. If we had smaller rotors, we would have a serious problem. Oh, dude, look at the diff is leaking. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, dude. The top of the diff cover. The top of the diff covers. Holy crap! Did you guys lose something? It busted off. Um. There's so our cross. So, yeah. <laughs> so our cross hey, thanks, buddy. So our diff cover, which is tied into the suspension, is peeled off the top, and it's got diff coming out. Like, look at this real quick, though. Ouch! Dang, dude. Wow. Yeah. So all the pressure. So it's Came still off. moving. The brace helped. Yes, the brace did the help. The brace helped, it, but it still moved a little bit. That was the weak point now. Ouch. Yeah. Well, we got to get that fixed, old Georgie. Dang. This Man. Crazy. We're leaking Peter. a little bit of water here. Whew. What are you doing? It's funny we pulled up and you're talking about, we didn't check the suspension. Yeah. <laughs> they went about, I suppose they went about oh, 400 feet and then the tire came <laughs> you know, it's funny when you go through that play-by-play. -play. I'm just, it's just funnier when you say it like that. <laughs> oh man! Well, once again, great life, no short. <laughs> Chasing the clock. Oh man, we have an altogether different issue right here, man. Something might have come through the radiator or something. We wouldn't have any sort of problem like this earlier. We got all the coolant leaks taken care of and all that, but man, I think we'll have to pull off the uh, this guy and and we can see it's somewhere up in there i wonder if the blade no man we're we'll have to see all right so we got nothing going on through the front side there it's kind of odd that we have a problem in the back side i believe that maybe the fan might have rubbed through but we've been having plenty of drive time there on this i want to hear this explanation we kind of did a burnout and the, the wheel flew off <laughs> so we're gonna need a lift maybe maybe two studs <laughs> Laz, what did you say was the next thing that we were going to break <laughs> he asked me what was going to break again <laughs> oh Laz, he's being a fun sucker <laughs> we were going to take this thing back to the shop and really do some establish exactly what happened there oh my gosh man oh. yes I'm glad we got that. That is that's a special piece right there. What so does that come off? Of? That's our that's our wheel spacer so that that'll work. But okay, yeah, okay. probably part of the problem. You know, we need, yeah, we need a little longer stud there. We took up a little bit of the room with the spacer. All right, we're on the hunt for our lug nuts here. Oh, I see what I see some metal. I think. Yeah, there's one. Oh yeah, we got a piece. We got, we got some hold on, hold on. carnage. I'm gonna get her. Oh, oh. All right. I was hoping to reach down and grab it in one fail swoop. Mm. There's one. Oh, there we go. Then the golf cart. You got another one? Uh, straight ahead. Oh, yeah, okay. Look at this. There's still hope. Not that we're going to reuse those or anything, but... Man, I'm just kind of curious as the debris path. Uh, when I shifted second or just playing the wheel hop in itself was like there. It, about the time that it straightened out. Gone. And honestly, it didn't really feel like that violent either. Like, I mean, I probably would have kept going had I not no, seen the wheel. No, it kind of moved, and you straightened it out, and then the wheel came off. <laughs> you know, at first it kind of, but I don't know, that might have been the tire starting to come loose. It, there is a first time for everything, as they say. Well, 
Got us half a stud, just as good as the other half, and a lug nut. All right. And okay. our uh, got, cover for our PCM. Three. Oh, dang. We so, don't want to lose that. Nope. Yeah, we got the three that were in there. Oh, nice. <laughs> we're almost there. Almost. Well, look at this one. Did you pick this up just like this? Just like that. Look how. Yeah. It was about ready to come off. I think we need five lugs. Yeah, yeah, we do. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Right no. now, we're in a particular predicament. You guys' response time is on point, man. Thanks. Coming to our aid here. No you guys are better than AAA. <laughs> What'd you do? It's like you guys were like two blocks away or something like that. Yeah. Wow, look at this, man. We got a jack, we got everything. All right. All right, so there, there's some damage to the diff, too. Oh, no. So I don't know what what the deal is there but like uh let's get a better look at this thing here but that member that we welded up it's like it folded it so like where we were trying to triangulate that force it's like it peeled the top of the diff backwards like that so hopefully the diff is okay but i'm gonna oh. say either those bolts are broken or hopefully not the diff i mean iron's gonna win over that but wow actually it's all iron We'll probably have to get it up on the lift to really determine what's going on, but mm. tire that could. Jeez, that actually is way fa fared way better than I really thought that it was going to, having bouncing off the walls a couple times. I think got the inner and the outer. So we're really gonna try and go back on two. I think two will be fine to go home. Yeah. All right. Block away. <laughs> okay, the only thing that has me a little bit messed up with that is the fact that we have a lock diff. Now that does change things a little bit. <laughs> I'm just saying. We might be dragging the bottom, you know. <laughs> it breaks. It breaks. Well, I, I don't know, man. I think we should probably pull one off the front or something. You know, so we're like maybe rolling threes. We're gonna have to twos, roll back and reverse. Twos is just not really the way I, I don't know. I did not envision it going this way. First thing tomorrow, we'll be calling Gearhead and getting some more ARP uh, studs coming. All right, so let's, let's ask a professional here. Mills, you run the track here at Showtime, and how many times a year does somebody lose a wheel? You know, we don't see it all that often, but maybe a couple times a year, all know, right. somebody will actually shear them off. If I can get the, the starting line, you know, gripping a little bit, uh, we can we can do a little damage up there. But uh, probably probably two or three cars a year, they'll they'll uh, rip the studs out of them. And, and so you're saying I made the short list? You made the short list. Yeah, it was good though. I mean, you you actually went a little ways. A lot of times they'll break right on the hit. This one didn't actually break until I think. What did you hit? Second gear? Yeah, I mean we'll have to watch the footage again, but I don't know if it was just the second gear or did I pedaled it when I hit. Se uh, I don't. I don't know. It just so, it happened pretty fast. But okay, so it may have it may have been uh, started breaking right from the get go and took that long for each one of them to come. Uh, Dude, the wheel hop seemed pretty intense. So I don't know if it was that or if it was when I shifted second and the wheel hop. But yeah, she did a little. Uh, Persnickety yeah, shake did sideways. Something there. I know I was uh, w when she straightened out and I seen the wheel come off and uh, I knew that was going to be the end of the test run. <laughs> I was just hoping at that point you could hold on to it and keep her straight. Yeah. All right, boys, say a little prayer for us. We're only going two blocks and we got two lugs. Oh, there goes the, there goes the door. <laughs> <laughs> George, I think you are hell bent on breaking that door. <laughs> what, was, what was your advice? You said expect the worst, pray for the best? Yeah. I like it. And we have no headlights either. <laughs> you gonna J turn it? <laughs> <laughs> Say it <I> won't. <laughs> All we gotta do is make this turn. Two lug nuts. <laughs> That's a win. Check this out. 
just that that's so fortunate honestly man i totally would have expected so much more and i, I thought it was just a completely clean you know no smudging or anything or spray so paint. It, it actually hit both walls it went ding 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 like a ping pong ball well, it was pretty awesome when I said nuts. yeah nuts. yeah we know lies sorry okay but hey look i'm really honestly very impressed that that's the only thing because we could have watered up the fender and that would have really sucked but I guess we have fender yeah, coverage. You can't take so. the bed off too easily. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is a problem. But hey, it worked out pretty good. Now, in regards to the bottom here. All right, so we can't get it up on the lift right now. We, those are tied up at the moment, but the brace that we designed looks like it worked. However, I believe we just sent all of, as what Laz just said, transmitted all of that torque to the next weak link. Ooh, that is a. <laughs> we can get this guy oh that's a keeper we're gonna put that on the shelf somewhere well there's nothing quite like the awful smell of gear oil what do you say that's pretty wild that it, you that can substitute okay. that for your pomade there you know <laughs> try it brings all <laughs> the ladies listen maybe like skunk ape but you know well whew. oh look at that dude we got pieces of the gasket is up in there like just spraying and the diff sounds good, so it's not like we hurt any of that, but... Eh. Well, we'll have to take a look at her a little bit later. Ladies and gentlemen, a wise man once said, Build it, race it, break it, repeat. Or is it fix it? Break build it, it, race it, break it, fix it, repeat? Yeah, that's what it is. Hey, that's what we're doing. We're doing, we're doing. A lot of breaking and fixing. <laughs> we are doing a lot of uh, racing. A lot of racing. <laughs> I haven't gotten to the racing part that much yet, but hey, we're working on it here. We want to be ready. But guys, that was a ton of fun, even if it was a failure. Uh, thank God everybody is safe. That was that was definitely uh, that was a little hairy. Maybe pucker a little bit. However, guys, how are we going to get to three hundred thousand? George, how are we going to get to three hundred thousand like, subscribers? Share, subscribe. Tell a friend. Jeremy said if we get to 300,000, we're going to turbo my truck. So I need you guys to do that ASAP. <laughs> Actually, Rocky. that is a great idea. It is? Say. It's a great idea. <laughs> That's, a... That's called right, wheeling guys. and dealing. Hey, Laz has got a build too right here. we got to do something with that. So, hey, let's make it happen, guys. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. <laughs> guys, check us out on Instagram. We greatly appreciate all the support. Also, check out the merch that we got. Link in the description below so that we can be able to do stupid things like this and entertain you. If you guys have enjoyed the video and you really do enjoy the diversity of what we're building, I mean, guys, we've got a thousand horsepower cop car, got 750 horsepower Copo, we're doing a brand new 2020 ZL1, we got a new ZR1, these videos are coming up very soon, I can't wait, and we've got an interesting blower on that CTSV plus go karts, and there is so much more. So, guys, tag a buddy. Let's get the subscribers over 300,000. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. We'll see you next time.